Today we've got an Aspen Trail 2020 model, huge awning. It is a 3020 BHS. So, pretty nice, about 7,200 pounds, two burner uh, stove in there. And of course, I'll uh, tilt you a little sideways to view that. Pause it on your video if need be. All right, zipping inside. Let me uh, close this door, get rid of some of that road noise. Double bunk setting over here. Uh, 300 pound uh, capacity, so you got, uh, got decent space in there. Rear bathroom, yes I did say rear bathroom. There is one up in the front, or we'll call it the master suite. But the rear bathroom is just as you'd expect, you know, shower, tub, John, all that good stuff. Um, zipping over here to this couch, I actually kind of like it. If you notice on the side, there's a little pull handles, and hopefully I can do this without getting hit. But it kind of reclines. Makes a nice little deal for you. Of course, it goes down and away, and of course, you do have this here to make it down into a bed. So, first time I've seen that in a camper, so I kind of wanted to showcase it. Kind of an interesting little feature. You do have a U-shaped dinette, but if you look down here, you do have the option to spin this table around to make it into a booth. So, depending upon uh, your family, your needs, your wants, all that good stuff, you can have the best of both worlds. Nice big farm sink, microwave, oven, fridge and freezer. It's got this plastic stuff on it, so there's there's some packaging equipment still on it we've got to pull off, but it'll all be gone by the time we get there. Nice, big, huge um, spot for a television. If you've got a good eye, You'll notice there's a fireplace sitting here, stereo, and if you've got a better eye, you'll see the handle. Pull this bad boy open, tons of room. So, a lot of the campers have been going to these uh, swing open doors, and uh, they've been very, very popular. Um, most people just love the heck out of them. Notice when I moved that one, it didn't actually uh, touch the floor. They've uh, done some updating with these things so you shouldn't get the scratched floors like uh, they first had when they, you know, originally came out. Moving into the bedroom, you know, queen bed, pretty straightforward, roof vent. Looks like uh, this one's uh, pre-wired for an AC, so does have an access door to get straight into the bedroom. And uh, as I alluded to earlier, the master bath. Not much to look at, but... If you don't want to wake up the whole rest of the camper in the middle of the night or you've got someone who's uh, a little particular about uh, their bathroom space, might not be a bad plan. So that is uh, this Aspen Trail as a whole. It is a Dutchman product. Of course, as most of you guys know, it will be warranted by a Keystone. So most of the industries kind of go in that direction, at least with uh, a lot of the, you know, the Crossroads, the Dutchman, the Astorias, the Kodiak, all that kind of stuff. And of course Keystone does Keystone, but a lot of stuff is getting warranted out by Keystone. It's kind of all underneath that big umbrella. As always, any questions, just let me know.